Hey guys, this is Stefan Kohler for Raw Exchange. Today I'm going to show you how to create these wheels of light or wings of light or doing advanced transform actions within seconds. So I'm going to get rid of all of that stuff and I have a single layer with one of our um, wings of light, something from our wings of light package. I think it was this texture here and well, as you can see, this is on perfect black background. It's light painting, so you can use this for wings or for ornaments or for whatever. Um, this is pretty awesome. You can put this into screen mode, so everything that's black gets transparent. So if something is behind this layer, it will just add up. I'm going to show you this. So this is behind this layer and if this layer is in normal you would see the border of the image within screen mode um, it's transparent so but this is not what I want to show you I want to show you some transform magic if you choose edit um, transform or the free transform thing you have the anchor point and you can put the anchor point to this little thing here and then you can rotate it around this point. This is the anchor point. And you have in your, uh, on top of your screen, on top of this toolbar, you have the rotation amount in degrees. So you can, for example, rotate it um, 3.6 degrees. 3.6 is awesome because our full circle has 360 degrees. So 100 of these um, would make a full circle. Um, let's go to 18 degrees. So I have just 20 of these to make a full circle. So what I can do now is go to edit transform and I have this um, shift command T thing that does the transform again. So this is pretty handy. And what most people don't know is if I press command alt shift T, so I add the alt key for this, it creates a copy of that layer and does the um, uh, transform again. So with that, I can super easily create a wheel of light it's just I'm holding down command alt and shift and just press the the T button again and then I have all these layers and I have this wheel of light this is pretty awesome I can also do a transform um, move my anchor point rotate this 80 degrees and make it a little bit smaller. So if I now press command alt shift T, it does also the, the size, the change in size and I get this one. This is also pretty cool. So if you wanna create something like that for wings or for whatever, you can use this technique to do pretty amazing stuff in within seconds. This is really a handy tip and most people don't know about this. This was Stefan for the Raw Exchange. Hope you had some fun. Take care. See you next time. If you like some more cool movies, you can check out this one and this one and you can subscribe to us down here.